Welcome back. Our election season is upon us and uh, before South Africans head to the polls, political parties are pulling all the stunts to gain more support. Over the past week, the EFF had its turn under the spotlight launching its manifesto in KZN. The leader of the party, Julius Malema, anchored his manifesto on job creation, load shedding and issues around land expropriation. And join me now as we unpack and take a closer look at how SMEs have reacted to the manifesto is the CEO of the Small Business Institute, John Lulu. I thank you so much for your time, John. I think actually we'll keep it broad, but of course uh, pinning some of the stuff uh, on what the EFF came out with in its manifesto. I mean, the first thing... Uh, that jumped out of me out of the words of uh, EFF leader Julius Malema is that in these 30 years of democracy, uh, political uh, inclusion has not translated into significant economic benefit for the majority. What is the small business community actually looking for in these political manifestos? Thank you very much for inviting us. Um, three quick points. I think to be welcomed is the fact that um, they spent too much time uh, on analyzing what has gone wrong. Uh, secondly, there is no mention of the ANC anywhere. No state of the nation which was delivered in their absence uh, last week, uh, Thursday. Yeah. And then, obviously, <clears throat> they are touching on very important issues. Load shedding is front and center of yeah. where we are now. However, I was very disappointed about two things. Mm -hmm. For a party that calls itself the Economic Freedom Fighters, there is no chapter in the 260-58 manifesto on the economy. Mm. And then there is obviously no dedicated uh, focus on small businesses, uh, which I'm, I'm quite happy to forgive them because yeah. we as a small business institute have never believed that the small business is a standalone sector. We've always believed that is a cross-cutting uh, segment of the economy, whether it's mining, agriculture, there is a small business segment. Mm. And we're very disappointed, uh, but had to live with the fact that government decided to uh, appoint and set up a small business development ministry. Mm. Uh, 10 years later, we don't think much has been uh, achieved, but we just don't see in the EFF manifesto a clear intention that accepts the first thing, that 90% uh, of our businesses in South Africa are not big businesses. 90% uh, of our businesses are small, micro, survivalist, uh, medium-sized enterprises, not listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Mm. And then, of course, you've got this 10%, which, is, which receives all the attention by the media. It is made up of state-owned enterprises, government departments, organs of state, and of course, the few listed uh, enterprises. So we're very disappointed that the rock stars of the economy yeah. did not receive attention. Well, I mean, as you're talking about that, John, that there's no dedicated chapter to small businesses which make up the bulk of, uh, you know, businesses in South Africa. How open are discussions uh, between opposition parties and the small business community? Of course, I understand that um, there maybe are more discussions with the governing party because they are governing. But in terms of, uh, you know, consultations with the opposition parties, is that a an open thing or not? I think it is an open thing. Let's assume for a minute the EFF does become the yeah. governing party. Yeah. Uh, okay, even more more realistic, it becomes a kingmaker in the next administration, the seventh administration. Mm. We have to take what they've put on the table as a starting point. This is what they and their members are thinking about and feeling. Probably very important, especially around the issue of load shedding mm. and jobs. Uh, those you can't wish away. Uh, however, this has to be a starting point to a more long-term inclusive conversation with the ecosystem of small business uh, owners, role players, as well as the other parties that will or not make it uh, into government, but may, may form part of the coalition mm -hmm. government arrangement, which is most likely to be our new reality.
Yeah. yeah, and you're and you're right. I mean, uh, there do need to be more inclusive conversations uh, with uh, small businesses because, as we're saying now, it's not just we're not just looking to the ANC. We are actually looking at the high possibility and probability of a coalition government. John, before we uh, close off the conversation, um, the EFF puts job creation as one of its focus areas, but. Does the small business community have sufficient capacity for job creation in the current economic environment? So what has happened now is, uh, I think, two or three things. Mm -hmm. The first one is um, someone graduates uh, from metric. Yeah. They have nowhere to go. Uh, government has passed everyone, and then the universities are clogged up. UNISA can only take so many. And the private universities are hideously expensive and they have no restrictions other than money. Mm. Where are these kids going? These kids are going to family enterprises, micro enterprises, survivalist enterprises, where a nurse who's just retired cannot survive on their, uh, um, on their pension. So they take this kid for a two-year period, a year period, while they upgrade their results. Yeah. What I have found missing from the EFF is the account, the, taking into account this reality mm. that people are not going to university, are not going to uh, education and training. They are going to family-owned enterprises, yeah. micro-survivalist enterprises. I would have wanted those to be acknowledged mm. because those are the people alongside the, uh, the grant system that have ensured that we don't have a social explosion in the country. Mm. Could I just mention one point, <clears throat> mm. which comes out again from the EFF, mm. which I think is a temptation uh, from the ANC government. And that is to say, to, uh, to, to approach economic development and small business development through the prism of a family of an individual instead of businesses. Mm. So by putting money, social grants into individuals is admirable, but we also have to be putting money into small enterprise development and micro enterprise development, which has saved us from a near uh, starvation and hunger. Mm. Yeah, indeed, we need these conversations as these uh, parties come out with their manifestos to really see what will support the bedrock of the South African economy. Thank you so much for your time, John. Really appreciate it. Uh, that was the CEO of the Small Business Institute, John Lulu.